वेलकम बैक टू सॉरी वर्क एंड एन सी ट्यूटर यूट्यूब चैनल बिफोर शटिंग द वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन इन दिस सॉरी वर्क वेलमेंट टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द वर्किंग विद कंस्ट्रक्शन प्लेन एंड स्केचिंग इन टू डी एंड थ्री डी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव कम्प्लीटली एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द वेलमेंट्स एंड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू वेलमेंट्स एंड द कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सो लेट स्टार्ट so as you can see this sketch there are the two sketches first one is 2d sketch this one is 2d sketch and the lines which are which is attaching these two 2d sketches are made with 3d sketches so i will explain you with detail the difference between 2d and 3d sketches and why we use 3d sketches in the weldments so let's start so first of all we have 2d sketches mainly we work with the 2d sketches so as from the name you can know that the 2d sketches are the sketches made on the two dimensional plane so basically the two dimensional mean that you have two axes one is y axis and other one is x axis so whenever you have to on this sketch or create a new sketch or create a 2d sketch you have to select the front plane like this one is the z x plane this one is the y z plane and this one is x y plane from this coordinate system you can analyze your planes so if you want to create 2d sketch you have to select any plane and select sketch from here so we will now only able to make the 2d sketch on this platform so however when i rotate this i can only able to create the 2d sketch you can see from here so first of all i am going to make the rectangle from here like this and press exit sketch so we also work with the construction planes like if you want to attach the two shapes so like i have made the 2d sketch on this front plane and now i will simply shift this plane from the reference geometry so from here you can uh, differentiate your references like if you want to make the plane parallel you can select this if you want to make it perpendicular you can select this if you want to make coincident you can select it from here so i am going to make it parallel i will <coughs> make it offset with some distance so i have already give the distance of 250 mm you can increase the distance with the value like this so now you can see that our plane is shifted select okay now again we are going to make the 2d sketch like this again select the line from here and make the center line like this now simply make the sketch and simply mirror this sketch to save your time i am going to select the entities from here select the mirror about this and select okay so now if you want to attach or close the contour select these two points so now this gray area is showing that our contour has been closed so select okay from here again go to exit sketch so now i will explain you about the 3d sketching so basically in the weldments there is option of 3d sketch if you want to work on the 3d sketch you can also enable the 3d sketch from this sketch tab so now from here you can see that the 3d sketch has been enabled so if i will select any of the tool like i am selecting line from here so in the line you can see that it is showing the x y plane at the cursor so if i will press the tab button you can see that our plane has been changed now our plane is y z plane so from here you can see that this is the y z plane so in the 3d sketch you don't have to select any right plane front plane you can simply sketch anywhere in this graphics area so i am now making the rectangle so now i will simply again press the tab 
now I have selected the ZX. So I will simply rotate it and will select this point and again make the rectangle like this. And now if I want to attach these two joints, so I will simply select this sketch again and I will join these two points. So now you can see how easily we have made the 3D sketch. I don't have to enable the 2D sketch making reference planes again and again. I have just simply select the lines and press the tab button to change our plane and I have made the 3D sketch. So if you want to attach these two shapes, so I am going to delete this. Now again go to the weldment, select 3D sketch from here, select the line, select this point and this point and you can easily attach the shapes for your structure like I have shown you the changes of the car in the previous video. So like this you can easily make the sketch. So this is the basic difference between the 2D sketch and the 3D sketch. If you want to work with the accuracy and if you want to save your time you have to work with both 2D sketch and 3D sketch. This will be the best practice. So this was a simple tutorial on 3D sketch and 2D sketch and the construction plane. So in the next video we are going to learn about the structural members and we will see how we can add the structural member to our sketches. So stay tuned, thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos.